News 8's Marcella Lee and Brandon Lewis are standing by with San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner as the race to replace him is a very tight one tonight. Guys, what's up? Hopefully you can hear us this time. Everything good? Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us right now. The first yeah. results have come in. And uh, what's your take on the numbers? Scott Sherman, who we know you endorsed, is in second place. Yeah, no, great, great to see. I, you know, I've, I've known Scott for a long time. Uh, really, when he, a lot of common sense. I love his approach. And so the early results are encouraging. Obviously, it's going to be a close race. But, uh, you know, that's, I'm, I'm not surprised to see him doing so well tonight. Certainly during your tenure, you focus a lot on homelessness and also the convention center, Measure C. Uh, needs a two-thirds. That's still lagging yeah. a little bit to get that two-third majority here. Well, strong early returns, and, I, and I'm really encouraged by it. To see it at 63% right out of the gate, um, I'm, I'm optimistic those numbers will go up. We'll see. But, but it's a clear mandate at 63% that San Diegans have said overwhelmingly, uh, these are our priorities when it comes to homelessness, road repair, expanding our convention center. Um, and... And we work very hard to uh, on this measure to get it in front of voters. And, and having been involved in politics for a long time, to see the incredible support, Democrat, Republican, business, labor, uh, for all of the right reasons. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm encouraged with the early results because it's the priorities that we need to be addressing in San Diego. It is impressive when you see the list of people who endorse Measure C because people have crossed party lines to really come together and, and help the city for the supporters of it was and, and and you know when I would you I mean think of you know just icons in San Diego like Father Joe and, and, and what that what he has meant and St. Vincent of Baldwin homelessness Alpha Project others um, we have a lot of momentum in San Diego it's something I feel very strongly about and it's one of the only counties where those numbers have started to go down we have a lot of work to do but but Measure C was incredibly important to give us that funding stream to keep up the momentum keep going what we're doing with one goal how do we get people off the street? How do we get them off the street now? And so to see those uh, numbers at 63 percent, as we were talking about, yes. 66 is tough, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's uh, heading in the right direction. Was well, there anything you said to Councilmember Sherman when he was running for, uh, for this re-election and or for this and election rather that you he jumped in at the last? Yeah, minute. you know he was trying to make up his mind of yeah. what he was going to do, and I just said to Scott, look, if if you, if, if you feel strongly about it, which I know he does, um, and you want to continue the work that we've doing and, and make those changes, you know, jump in and do it. Uh, like it's a tremendous honor and privilege to serve as mayor, um, and. You know, I have uh, just under a year left, and so going to be pushing strong uh, to finish strong on uh, the last year. But it's 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 a it's a great job because if you can bring people together, and that's really what I talked to Scott about. Because you know, there's so much partisanship, particularly on the national level, to be successful here in San Diego, we really have to work with people. You have to solve problems. If you can do that, um, I think it can make a difference. We know you're focused on tonight's election and uh, finishing strong yeah. in your position as mayor, but there are talks that you could be considering a run for governor in 2020. <laughs> Any thoughts uh, you'd I, like to share I, with us? Well, thank you. I am finishing strong, uh, <laughs> and, and it's and it's and obviously because I'll, I'll figure out what I'm. To do next, but I, but I do uh, so many things that we're working on right now, and you know, getting our doing the what budget do you hope together. Your, what do you hope your legacy? Is? It's about making a difference. I mean, I, I really when I ran for the job about one San Diego, and you know, after the problems we have the last mayor, would bring an integrity, respect back to City Hall about making sure that every neighborhood was getting their fair uh, share of services, uh, and to treat people with dignity and respect, even if you disagree with them. That's the tone I've tried to set as mayor. Hopefully, I've accomplished that. I hope that'll be part of it, and. Uh, well, there'll be time enough to talk about the future, but really we've got a lot of work to do in the next nine months, so that's what I'm focused on. Mr. Mayor, thank you so thank much you for guys. joining Great us. Great to really see you appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much pleasure, for your time.